There were 3.3 million stunted children, and the Philippines ranked ninth among 10 countries with the worst cases of stunting, along with the war-stricken countries. Stunting is a silent emergency, and we have to get our acts together. The children deserve better. So our nutrition specialist, Dr. Amado Parawan, a caution. In the Philippines, 95, per 95 children die every day due to undernutrition, as stated in the 2015 UN, uh, well, United Nations Children's Fund, or UNICEF's uh, study entitled United for Children. The Philippines was losing at least 328 billion pesos, or 7.06 billion dollars a year, due to the impact of uh, childhood um, malnutrition. Okay. It also impacted on stunting. Uh, it, uh, stunting also impacted on education and workforce productivity. In response to the prevalent problem on hunger and malnutrition, Save the Children launched the Lahat Dapat campaign in 2015 to raise awareness on the issue. Save the Children also pointed to the FNRI data which revealed that overall chronic malnutrition or stunting rate of children under five years old had significantly increased to 33.5% from 30.5% in 2013. Now, this is really distressing. In terms of reduction of acute malnutrition and wasting, where a child suffered man, uh, starvation and illness, there's been no progress as far as the Philippines is concerned. The latest national data also shows that children born to the poorest mothers are thrice likely to suffer from stunting. This means that we need to double our efforts to ensure that nutrition-related policies and programs reach the most vulnerable. Launched in 2015, the Lahat Tapat campaign aims to raise the public's awareness on the alarming status of child hunger and malnutrition in the Philippines and to get more people involved in pushing for sustainable solutions that will help end the vicious cycle of hunger and malnutrition in the country. Save the Children believes no child should be left behind. All children, especially the poorest, should have fair and equal access to food and nutrition. Now, why is Save the, Ch uh, Ch uh, Save the Children Philippines uh, program on malnutrition? We have been campaigning for the passage of a law on the first 1,000 days. The first 1,000 days of a baby's life, which covers the nine months of a mother's pregnancy until a child's second birthday, is the foundation of a person's future health, intellectual development, and motor and social skills. The law is now awaiting for the president's signature so that it can now officially become a law. And we are really hoping that with your help, this can be done at the soonest possible time. From September 2017 to March 2018, Sierra Children Philippines implemented what is called the Community-Based Management of Malnutrition or CMAM project in Avotas. And then in April 2018, we launched Nurture or the nutrition among urban poor through Unified Response Project, which not only provides supplemental feeding uh, program or dietary supplementation, but also included outpatient care for severe cases of mal acute malnutrition and conditional cash transfers for uh, the social protection support. The project aims to contribute to the reduction of deaths among under five girls and boys in the Botas through improved health and nutrition among children and their mothers or caregivers. Nutrition-specific and nutrition-sensitive intervention focusing on the first 1,000 days of life, preventing stunting and wasting okay, among other five children and improving maternal nutrition. We work in eight pilot barangays in Avotas City. Now let's watch a video on malnutrition.
This Christmas, lahat 